Hi. So my name is Mohamed Shakir Sheikh from Germany. I came to Germany as a student and I'm about to finish my master's. Today I'm going to show you if you are like me in a state that you are applying for so many jobs but you don't know in which company you have sent which documents or what is the links of that company or how can you keep the tra keep tracking of all the informations regarding your application so today i will show you i personally use the tools that help me to achieve my goal so don't waste our time though so let's start i will explain everything so as you can see here um so as you can see the picture here so this is a notion.so the link i will send it below so if any one of you wants to look at it for more details you can look at it here so how i did it you just need to open an, uh, a name of your folder or file for example job application track record if you click here you can do here you can change it you can do whatever you want you can rename it and then just write the name of the positions which you're applying for then if you want you can also name the company because I, I i want to know which company i applied and which of my rejections and then this is the most interesting part that you can also um save your documents here just uh, if you um, apply for the new for a new job and if you come here for example I'll, you select here for the new one you'll see if you give your uh, for example the position industrial engineer okay you click here and you can see a link choose file you can choose the file and upload here if you open the file like this it will come like this it's like a pdf file the way you save it do like this you can save your whole so this is very important because um, if you apply more than you know which cvc you have sent to the company so if you follow like this then you can open the the exact cv which one you applied and then you can look what actually you have written in your CV so that you can, if, when, they, when you have the interviews, you can, you, can, you can tell them exactly what they want to know. So the interviewer who will take interviews, they actually looking for the keywords which they use in their job description. So when you speak, they just look at uh, from your speak when you speak, they just focus on the on the keyword uh, similar that, that, that that's they're looking for when the keyword hears that creates the dopamine in the brain and they said oh okay so he's smart he knows everything and blah 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 so after saving the file you can what you can do you can also put the link here the job description slip because it's real it's, it's very very important before you know, taking the preparations for any kind of interviews come here to see more uh, more uh, keywords so they're looking for someone for example i didn't follow the rights as to be looking for it so if you have experiences in it or if you don't have the experience in it maybe you are working in, in a company like as a as a as a team lead maybe team leader for example i work in a company as a team leader i have, I have a team of 10 people so you can also highlight here that i worked and what i have learned what kind of it tools i used and, and uh, if i have any kind of technical problems can be anything so just think about it and you can also take help from uh, from uh, chat gpt you see here chat gpt also use chat gpt for any kind of purposes you can ask chat gpt a thousand of questions for example i just copy and paste the job descriptions and look for what chat gpt gave it to me, give it to me please read the upper job descriptions and clearly uh, for the position of uh, id solutions advisor i'm working on now schedule blah, blah, blah. and look at he will give you an idea how have you previously ensured that the smooth functioning of IT equipment? Trust me, today I had an interview and they asked me similar questions. Do you have this kind of 
or did you work before in any, any kind of any kind of project where you have uh, some uh, challenges and how did you solve these challenges? So these kind of questions and I already been asked in my today's interviews, look, how chat would help us to to do the, to give you a better shot, shot in your interviews. So, yeah. And then finally here, and yeah, obviously the finally then you can also write down the date when you apply it's very important which date and then you can also evaluate when you did you have rejections for example i applied to you and i got the rejection the same day but most of the cases they took two one or two weeks for example here and obviously you should mention the date then you have an idea normally how many days the company takes so from this this evaluations you can you can take a lot of decisions as well this is your own research no for example i have applied look eight and i've been interviewed on 10th January, I applied in, 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 in December 8th and then it took three weeks, so like this, okay? Yeah, so hopefully this video, uh, this video will help you for your next journey and I, best you, I, I wish you best of luck for your next journey and yeah, see you in my next videos. So if you like my videos, if you, uh, if you have any kind of suggestions, how can I make my video content more, more organized or maybe more advanced way or what kind of information that you are looking for yeah? sitting in your country maybe that bother you so just just write comment just in the comments box we will work on it so yeah thanks so much